Hi, Jenny. I found our set for the Christmas play. And I found the other part. Amazing. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Revive Nations Kids, where we revive, renew, and restore me and you. And you know what, kids? Today, the theme is follow that star. Are you excited? Let's go. Oh. Hello, um, my name is Gaspar. Uh, you can remember it because I like to <gasps> gasp, you know. Um, I'm looking for um, my friends. Okay, story, long story short, my friends and I, Melchior, Balthazar, and me, <gasps> Gaspar, we were studying, and we were studying so many things and the stars, and then there was the star, yes, the most beautiful, burning, bright one that said that a king would be coming. And so, us wise guys, us wise men, were like, we need to go find this king. So we kissed our wives goodbye, hopped upon our camels, and we started walking. And it was amazing and glorious and fun until the sandstorm came. You remember that sandstorm? Yeah. Um, and then I lost Melchior and Balthazar. Then my camel, he got indigestion and went the other way. So now I'm, I'm walking and I'm trying to find this glorious star that is going to tell me about a king. And uh, my gifts are on the camel. I just remembered that. Uh, so um, I'm going to just, uh, hopefully uh, Melchior and uh, Balthazar have enough gifts for this king and uh, I'm just going to try to find them. Um, thank you, uh, weary traveler, for hearing this wise man's tale. It's, it's, I gave myself that title. No one called me wise man. I, I know I'm wise. So I tell everyone I'm wise. Just in case you didn't know, I'm very wise. Look at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Um, so I'm just going to go find this beautiful... Uh, uh, prophetic star and uh, and uh, the, I don't know why I'm telling you this I just I just like talking <laughs> okay, bye uh, what's your name uh, it's good uh, you, you want to tell me something no okay hey kids Merry Christmas come join me for a song let's go we one king wait I'm just kidding there's three kings let's go again we three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse so far Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of light, star of royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. All right, kids, see you soon. <laughs> uh, um, hello, lady. I am a messenger of the Lord. Oh, okay. Hello, you, Lord. Glory to God in the highest. Okay, good for that. But I'm looking for my two friends, Melchior Balthazar, very rich looking, beards, wise, very wise. Uh, they were going after the star to find a king. I have a message of good news for all the people. A king has been born. Okay, but my friends. Ninja. But my friends, though. I'm looking for my friends. So good news, yeah. But my good news would be to find my friends. <laughs> yeah. So you know the direction they went in. The uh... king has been born in a manger. And you will find him if you follow the star. Okay, so it sounds like you're making sense because you're saying uh, king and you're saying star born manger. I'm not really catching what you're saying. So you're not so late. Okay, I don't have any direction. I guess I keep following the star then. Hey boys and girls, Merry Christmas! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited that you're here with us on Christmas Day and we are making something really fun today. We're making star in a jar because today's theme is all about follow that star. Catherine, are you ready to help the kids at home? Yeah. Excellent. So what do we need for today's craft? Well, we need a glass jar. We need some tissue paper. We have red and silver and blue. You can use any colors you want. We have scissors and a flashlight or a candle, a paintbrush. And the last thing we need is some glue, which is clear and transparent. Okay, so you can ask your parents if you can get that too. Okay, so are you ready, Catherine? Let's get started. Step one, we need to take tissue paper and cut it into little tiny shapes. I already prepared mine, so you can go ahead at home and start making lots of shapes with your tissue paper. Once you have all your shapes cut out, 
The next step is to take a plate and pour some of your glue into your plate. So once you've poured all the glue into the plate, that's ready to start. So the next step, we're going to take our glass jar, Catherine. We're going to take a paintbrush and we're going to decorate the outside of the jar with all of our different color shapes. So I'm going to show you what to do. I'm gonna take a blue piece to start, take some glue on my brush, glue it onto the jar, and if it sticks well, you don't need extra glue, but otherwise you can even take some glue and glue on the top of the paper as well. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna decorate our beautiful jar with all different colors and shapes. Oh my goodness, Catherine, wow, we're almost done. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. How are you doing at home? Excellent. You know, this is a star in a jar activity. Makes me think of stars and the moon and light. The light helps us to see and helps to show the way, just like with the wise men. Do you know why there was a star in the sky for them? So they can know where baby Jesus is. Right, the star was put there just for them to light the way and show them where to go. And Catherine, we need to now figure out a way of making our jar light up, putting a star in our jar. So children, the next step of this craft is to take a flashlight and you're going to light it and you're going to place it inside your jar. Now Catherine, without the flashlight, the jar is really beautiful, Yeah. but it's kind of not lit up. What do you think is going to happen when we put the flashlight in? It's going to become so bright. It's going to become bright and even more beautiful than before. So let's see. I wonder what it looks like when we turn the lantern on. Yeah. Wow, it's so beautiful. That's amazing. So boys and girls, remember that the star led the wise men to Jesus. And today, the Holy Spirit is the same light. He helps us to find Jesus today. And today is Christmas, and it's a time for us to think about Jesus. Boys and girls, have a beautiful day. Have fun making this craft. And when you look at the light, when you look at the star in the jar, think about Jesus, who is the best light of all. Bye for now. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Joseph the Shepherd Boy. Okay. Uh, I am Gaspar, <laughs> very wise man. Um, have you seen my two friends uh, walking? They are kings and wise. Very, they have very expensive clothes. Uh, camels, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, have you seen them around? I haven't seen them, but I've seen angels. Angels? I just saw one too. I must be on the right track. What did that angel tell you to do? Go to Bethlehem and find a baby in a manger. Okay, Bethlehem. Baby in a manger. Where is Bethlehem? That way. Oh, okay. And the stars that way. Um, I think I should, I should go investigate this. It's a wise thing to do to investigate. Okay. Wait, I'm coming too! Hey kids! I hope you're having fun. You know, I hope the wise man finds his friends. While he's following the star, that reminds me of a song that I know. I think you know it too. Do you see what I see? Said the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see what I see? Follow that star. Hello, little girl. How are you? Sir, for the hundredth time, we have no more room. 
Ma ma madam, madam, little one, I am not looking uh, for a room at your fine establishment. I am looking actually for um, a baby, because a shepherd told me and an angel told me that there is a baby, and this is not an ordinary baby, it's the king of kings baby, the baby I've been looking for after the star. Yes, have you seen, have you seen him? Yes, my mother's helping them, and they're in the stable just down that hill. Oh, over there. Um, stable, manger, same thing? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I think that's where I need to go. Did you see any wise guys uh, with beards, uh, fancy clothes, camels? Did yeah. You, yeah, they're there? Yeah. Okay, thank you, little, little one. I'm going. Yeah, hello? Hello? Oh, dear sir? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm... The stable is in this direction, the manger? Well, yes, but... Uh, there's people in the stable. Okay, I, that's why I'm going there. I see there's a baby. Oh, you know about the child? I know about the child. My friends are there. Look very fancy people, the cameras oh. and such, yes. Sir, are you following the star? Of course I am. That's what, that's what this is all about. I'm so eager to see you. Then you know. The star came and stood above my inn. It's been 10 days now, and I didn't know what it meant. But then the couple came. And then the child, and he really is the king. I need to see this child, I need to see this baby. So if you would please excuse me, I'm, I'm gonna head that way. Where is your gift, sir? Melchior uh, Balthasar, they'll make up for it. You know, I think they have some extra frankincense lying around, so uh, we'll, we'll bring that, yeah, I'll bring that. You must come with me. Okay. Melchior Balthasar. You can keep going. I have I have some business to attend to. Yes, thank you. I'm coming. I'm not, no, I won't lose my camel. No. Um, I. I just. I just met the king. He was beautiful. Uh, not what I expected. Not what we three expected. But glorious. Powerful. I I don't know what just happened. I'm trying to think about it, uh, children. Um, but I know it was historic. It was special. It is something in my life that I'll never forget. And it was worth walking all that way. It was worth losing my friends. It was worth having a camel with indigestion. Uh, it was worth every pain every struggle, all the work I had to put in. It was, it was even worth meeting that headed guy, he was a weird. Uh, but I wouldn't give it up for anything, meeting this, this king, this king of kings, this king over wise men, this king over everyone, this king that makes the heavens bring forth a star to declare his glory. Who can find such a person? I am so privileged. And I bet you are too. And I have to go home and tell everyone I know that the king is born this day. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go. Joy to the world! The Lord is come! Let us receive come on. her king! A little bit lower. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. You busted my eardrum with that hey, singing. Hey, Matt, today's Christmas. Do you know why it's so important? Yes, because all the snot -lows little kids go and get their gifts. No, it's because Jesus is the gift. He's oh. the gift. He's the reason for the season. Jesus is born. That's why we celebrate Christmas. If it's all about Jesus, why do I see a star on top of a tree and not a little baby? I don't think baby Jesus wants to be on top of a Christmas tree, Matt. But the star is very important. The star is God gave a star to the whole world as a sign that Jesus is born. That Jesus is the king of kings and he is God and he's awesome and it's Christmas. And I just got to sing joy to the world. Oh, the Lord. Come on, Matt, you gotta sing with me. Oh, fine. Let Earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. That too. And heaven and nature sing.
your wine on. And have Merry Christmas! Yeah, what she said. Yeah. Hi kids, Merry Christmas. You know, today's theme is follow that star. Where do we find that star in the Bible? Well, if you open your Bible, yes, even on Christmas Day, and you open it to Matthew chapter 2, you'll see there is the story of the wise men who followed the star. Let's look at it together. It says, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Wow! Jesus was no ordinary baby. Jesus is the Son of God. And when he was born, God made a star in the universe that was so big. When those wise men came, they followed that star all the way from the east, all the way to Jerusalem. And there they found him, King Jesus. You see, the star is just like the Holy Spirit shining bright and leading people all over the world closer and closer to King Jesus. So today, let's pray together so we will know Jesus as our King and our Savior. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know you are the Son of God come to save the whole world. Jesus, come into my heart right now. And Holy Spirit, lead me just like that star. Amen. Jesus is alive, and he is the reason for our Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. See you soon. Bye.
want to say praise the Lord and Merry Christmas. Oh, come let us adore.